Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here, welcome back to the channel. People always ask me how do I get the performance that I get in comparison to my hardware. So today I'm going to show you my Simu settings, what I use, and honestly there's nothing special going on. But let's clarify exactly what I have set. Okay, so let's go to my desktop. Now the first thing I want to do is show you my control panel settings. So we're just going to right click NVIDIA control panel. And then we're going to go to Simu and look at my Simu specific settings. Now there's nothing particularly special going on here. Most of the settings I use are actually turned off. But let me show you what I've got going on. Uh, four times anisotropic filtering, off, 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 off. Um, shader cache on. Uh, texture filtering clamp, texture filtering quality. Quality. Um, the main one that people talk about is threaded optimization. So I have that turned on and that seems to squeeze a bit more out of the CPU. And that's about it really. So nothing too special in the NVIDIA control panel. Now if we go into my CMU folder, the first thing we're going to do is right click and properties on the CMU EXE because I do use full screen optimizations. So the three things I have ticked here in compatibility are override high DPI, disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator. Once again, fairly standard settings. I think a lot of people know them by now. If I open up Simu itself, um, I'll show you exactly what I normally have set. Okay. So of course this is for Breath of the Wild, but this is pretty much how I play any game in Simu anyway. Um, Okie dokie. So in experimental, I don't use anything. Sometimes I will turn on GX2 draw done if I'm playing, for example, Bayonetta 2, or if I want the AI to behave normally in Breath of the Wild. But generally I turn it off because I like that extra boost in FPS that it gives me. Um, let's see, GPU buffer accuracy I always have set to low. Upscale filter by Cubic and graphic packs. So when I'm playing Breath of the Wild, let me show you which ones I activate. So of course, FPS++, I also use 1440 resolution along with uh, clarity. I use the complaining gamer preset that is in the options there. Uh, the LWZ LWZX crash along with Nvidia explosion smoke and yeah, that's about all I use. Um, going across a few of the extra options. Mode, as you can see, single core recompiler, timer, affinity. Um, in debug, I just use the custom default. Sometimes if I want to play around, I'll use QPC and RDTSC, which is provided by Simu Hook. And that's basically it. MM timer, Simu default. Literally nothing special to my setup. The rest is just left to my hardware. And that's it really. Um, I have a few standard Windows 10 optimizations where most of the sharing options are turned off, but once again, they're nothing special. So whenever I play Breath of the Wild or any other Simu game, everything is pretty much either off or, yeah, pretty much off because it's not even default. Um, nothing in experimental, buffer cache accuracy low, and that's pretty much it. So there you go. That's my setup for Simu. In terms of upkeep, I always try to have the latest Simu build, the most up-to-date Simu hook. Um, I always download the latest Nvidia driver and Windows updates are free to do whatever they wanna do. If you dislike the video, thumbs down. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, The Complaining Gamer, remember to subscribe. Thank you for the time and I'll see you very soon.